Hello and welcome back to my Resident Evil series. This is episode uh, 3. And uh, in this episode, we end up taking down a poison snake. Very big one. And Richard ends up having a life issue. And we, end up, we also end up taking down the zombie trapped in the coffin. It's like a feral zombie, or pal zombie, if you will. And we also take down a couple puzzles. And, uh, yeah. We're making some progress. So, hopefully you guys enjoy the episode, and I will see you in a second. <clears throat> Something's gonna break through those windows. Oh, we use the armor key. Nice. Didn't think I needed that one for there. I thought it was another uh, helmet key door. Glad I was wrong, I guess. Get some more battery pack for our taser. There's a zombie at that window. Alright, what do we got in here? Three doors. Uh, we'll go to one on right first. Oh, we can hear the zombies banging on the door. Or the window, sorry. What do we got in here? A zombie playing dead? Oh shit. Can I kill you now? Apparently not. Oh. Keeper's Diary. Play tasty. Itchy tasty. Alright, so we read this diary and now we get to see if a zombie pops out. Oh. Oh, I had to go near it. Wow. Taste of bitch ass. Move his ass up. <laughs> Taser for the win. Didn't even take any damage. Go me. Alright, what do we got? Uh, is there anything even in this room other than that, uh, thing? There's really nothing in here. Okay, that's all that was in here was the little taser thing. That's not good, but not bad, I guess. Could be worse. As I don't irritate those zombies over there right away. Grab this dagger. Go in this room. See what's in here. Is this the, is this the room with the, the eye things? Yep. There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. So you gotta get the blue and the yellow. If you put them in the wrong spot, the tiger flips out. I mean, Tiger doesn't do shit, but it would be like bugs or poison or something. Uh, I don't remember. Um, go this way. I think they're gonna break through on the way back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I kinda need the chemical. I didn't think I'd find this right away. Alright, now we can go kill the plant. Hopefully. If we need two chemicals, then I don't know where the other one would be. Alright, what do we got here? Lid on the water pump is open. Pump the water. I don't know. <coughs> Yeah, stop the pumping real quick. <coughs> Use the chemicals. 
Alright, now pump the red. That should kill the plant. Yeah, it looks like it. It's a mask. This is see no evil. Oh, zombie's gone. Means they're probably gonna break through. Yep. Oh shit. Man, that pressure with that gun managed to make it fall down. Is that bitch? Get off, Get off me. Stab it in the forehead. And apparently that killed him. Can I get my gun back or my knife back? No. That's unfortunate. One on one with the other. So this this one? This one. Down yet, apparently. So, I still gotta find two more. Ah, shit. Well, there's a zombie in here that's gonna be trying to bite my face off. Alright, so where do we have to go in that room? Oh, we have to go all the way past him. Fuck. Uh, shitsa. We have no defensive items. Oh, this is great. This is fucking great. We're gonna get our ass handed to us. Okay, well, there's at least two of them. Oh, I should have burned them. I should have burned them when I had the chance. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, I'm not gonna like this at all. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can kill these two paddle zombies. Mm, that hurt. Kick his ass, Joe. What in the fuck? Did <laughs> you just. Popped up like you was fucking a ninja matrix, dude. Oh, fuck. No, no. Whew. Get me out of here. Oh, that camera angle could have killed me. Oh, shit. Mmm, it's another zombie. Oh, it is, it is the armor key. Oh, great. Oh, fuck. So when I come back through there with the pal zombie room, um, I'm just gonna bring a shotgun. What the fuck? How's a bird? Bird's gonna attack me. Lisa protected by the three spirits. A piece of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Not yet. So, green crown, purple, purple necklace, orange bracelet. This one's the crown. Oh, uh, green? Was that? The crow's like, why'd you press the button? Why wouldn't I press the button? Turn pure white. Hmm. Alright. So let's turn off this side. There you go, green's good. So you have the necklace, so you have to be purple. 
That's a deep red. I need it to be purple. So if we turn this side on, it'll be it'll be white. Okay, so it needs to be purple. So if we turn this side off, should it be purple. Yeah. And this one needs to be orange. There we go. Looks good to me. I think these crows are gonna flip out as soon as I push the button. Man, those crows are annoying. Uh, orange bracelet, purple necklace, green crown. Gotcha. Let's press the button. We did it. Man, those crows are angry. Well, the good thing is I don't have to go back through that room with the um, three pal zombies. Is they're they're over here, and I don't have to go this way anymore. If I do, I just have to go here. Is in this room all there is is just the the broken shotgun, so I don't need that. <clears throat> But now I have the third mask, so I guess the last one is just in the sneak room. Hopefully. Alright, don't know if this recorded or not last time, but we'll use the gold emblem on the shield thing above the fireplace, which will end up causing us to unlock the puzzle for the, the clock. So the answer to the puzzle, I did it before, I had to go back for this recording. Um, you have to get the minute hand to stab the dude in the head and the hour hand to stab the dude in the chest. So right here, turn the things in the clock, large. Only, only one you have to move is the large gear. You have to move it twice. Just so that it goes to the six spot on the, um, the clock, or six o'clock, so you have to make it a six o'clock. Pretty straightforward and simple. And that moves and you get the armor key, yay! Er, sorry, <laughs> not the armor key. Shield key, we already had the armor key. I'm going to grab this jewel thing on the ground, because that's needed for the tiger eye. And then we're going to go kill the snake. Alright, we are back this area where Richard's at. And we're gonna have to go through here. There's a zombie oh. here. Who's gonna Bitch. Burn fire. Apparently Joel wanted to get hit by the fire too. So we use the mansion key here, which is actually the shield key. I just didn't identify it to show that it's the um, shield key. We're gonna switch this because the incendiary uh, grenades are much better against zombies. Here comes the snake. Payback time. Oh, hit me! Oh, hit me! Get away from me! Come on, Richard, keep your... Nope, 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 nope. Just like, why are you running away from me? Uh, can I have to go? Thanks. Thank you, Richard. She had plenty of time to get out of the way. She dodged twice before that. You would think that she would dodge again. Richard! Richard! Instead of getting up and shooting it right away, she 
she's like, just let me um, stay here and watch my friend die. Well, yeah, that makes sense. That's what I do all the time, too. Alright. Let's try and kill it with our hand. I guess it didn't like the grenade launcher shots. So here's the mask. Death mask. Cool name. And then we got this uh, shotgun over here and the shotgun shells. Pretty cool. This is the assault shotgun here. If you're wondering how I know all these things, it's because uh, I had to redo this because my recording did not want to record. It changed the scene thing, so instead of recording what I just recorded, it recorded a Be Right Back screen, which is not cool. But I'll see you guys in a second. We're gonna go turn all the masks into the um, stands where the masks go, I guess. Plus there's a zombie here. I'm not even gonna bother killing him. Because, as far as I know, we don't have to come back this way. The funny thing is, he doesn't attack me, so... Okay, so the, um, door just opened behind me, so I guess the zombie actually does come and try and kill you. Where the hell he is, I don't know. I was a little worried that he was going to get me as soon as I went around that corner. We go down. Okay, not going to lie. Last time, he did not go through the door. He just literally stayed on the other side. But apparently this time he wanted to be a dick. So, yeah, that's that's that. We're back here with the mask area. This one goes here. Yep. There's the area. Let's wait for the damn thing to fall down. Uh, this one's the small one. And this one's the speak one. And then it falls down. Go and examine it. Love how she's like, oh my god, something fell. Yeah. So this is the feral zombie that we killed last time, but the recording didn't want to record it. So I get to kill him again. again before it's just like, oh, by the way, nope. Dude, I hate that they have that mechanic where right after it attacks you, it can attack you again. Like, no. Here we go. Zombie dead again. So, first things first, pick up the shotgun ammo. Glad I brought two healing items, it's got one. Press the switch, opens the gate, grab this uh, metal stone object, and then we make our way out of here. Just chilling over here by the fire, uh, letting Joe warm up, I guess. Um, this brings us to the end of episode three of our Resident Evil series. Um, that that snake boss was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be, and the feral zombie thing that was trapped in the coffin was a lot more difficult than the snake was. Um, whatever the case is, we didn't die to either of them. Those puzzles were pretty simple. Uh, you just need the green crown, purple necklace, and the orange bracelet, so you just gotta flip the switches till you get those colors. and. The other one, you just have to have it to 6 o'clock for the clock puzzle. Pretty simple. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode, and uh, 
yeah. We're, we're getting pretty good in this game. I mean, we did get beat up by that feral zombie, and uh, we got scared by those zombies in the hallway. Glad I don't have to go back through that hallway. But anyway, like always, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you guys want to put any comments down below, I will greatly appreciate any feedback. And I shall see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.